I'm an assistant engineer at Warwickshire County Council. I'm a graduate civil engineer. I'm a flood risk management engineer. I'm an engineering project manager. I'm what they call a works delivery officer. I'm the senior development management engineer. Um, in highways where we implement schemes uh, funded by developers for highway improvements. I've predominantly consulted on um, planning developments to make sure that um, new developments are sustainable and aren't going to increase flood risk in any way. So I look after schemes that are being built by the County Council, uh, civil engineering road schemes. I look after the existing highway, um, so that's your lines, your signs, your potholes, your gullies. We look at the planning applications submitted countywide, so we've got five districts and boroughs within the County of Warwickshire. They all have their own planning departments and we are a consultee within the planning process uh, looking at the highway aspects of a development proposal. My role is looking after the Section 38 New Estate Roads and Minor Works 278184s. And I'm part of a large team who deal with development management planning and then the Section 38 side. During my BNG I decided to apply to a few places and I noticed that Warwickshire offered a training scheme as well as a sponsorship to the MNG. I thought this was a great opportunity to work towards my chartership, especially when there's a good structured training scheme in place. I had a, an odd route into engineering. When I was at school I was really into geography, human geography especially, and I remember having a field trip to the planning office, which is ironically I ended up working at eventually, um, and I had an interest in, in the built environment. I fell into it early on when I started my working career. Um, after I finished my A-levels, I found a role that gave me an opportunity in an engineering field. I really enjoyed it. So I got into engineering purely by accident. I essentially ended up getting an administration role at Warwickshire County Council, creating utility drawings. So all those pipelines that go under the roads, I printed them off and the contractor would go out and know where not to dig and where to dig. I actually trained in uh, countryside and land environmental management. I like project managing because rather than getting involved in the nitty gritty of one area of engineering, you're, you're more broadly spread across all of the disciplines involved in getting a project in the ground. And that, I think that's quite interesting. You feel you're having your own little impact on the future of the area that you live in. Helping individuals is the the bit that I find most rewarding. I get to work with a lot of different engineers as well as developers so I get to see both the construction side of things as well as the technical review. Every day is different, every day brings a new challenge and that's what brings the, the fun into the job. Don't be afraid to get stuck in. I think there's a misunderstanding that engineering is all about cogs, wheels and grease. It's about working with the community to really bring together projects that are going to benefit the community. So when we build things, roads and bridges, we are building them for people to use and it's going to be there probably longer than you're going to be alive. If you've got the interest there, the opportunities are out there, um, just go for it. If it's something that you're interested in, even if you haven't got the qualifications initially, it's something you can work towards and it will just really give you the opportunities to have a fulfilling career. This, 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 this is engineering at Warwickshire.